Just the way you look tonight With each word your tenderness grows Tearing my fears apart Touches my foolish heart. Mike Shanks here at the Cambridge City Hall gala event for the Grand River Film Fest. Let's get out and talk to some folks and see what's going on. Tonight's uh, film is, uh, is Blind Sight. Uh, sounds like it's a great film about uh, a group of Tibetan blind children that climb a mountain. I'm just wondering, what's the mountain you're going to climb this year? Oh, that's a tough question. I don't know. Um... If I could uh, elevate uh, the Grand River Film Festival to uh, another level uh, where, yeah, as you asked, uh, to give this region an economic impact and a sense of pride for the people living in this region to have their own festival, I think that's a good mountain to climb. Uh, Mayor Craig, there was a great article in the, uh, the Globe and Mail uh, mm -hmm. yesterday talking about um, our, our, in Cambridge, the, the brand new City Hall and about how it's a, uh, a, a nice place to pay your taxes and hang out. <laughs> well, and, and tonight's a great example of that. Tell well, me a little bit more about that. Well, what we're doing is we're hanging out tonight. But I mean, the article was terrific in the sense that it talked about this city hall being the most eco-friendly in Canada. It's a, it received a gold award in the uh, Leadership and Energy Efficiency Design Program, and we're quite proud of that. It's the first city hall in Canada. As well, um, you know, we're, we're hosting the Grand River Gala here tonight, um, and the Film Fest is, uh, is uh, in its second year here in the, in the Grand River uh, area. Uh, what do you feel the economic impact is going to be long term with the Film Festival here in the region? Well, the uh, Film Festival, all culture, all kinds of uh, different uh, arts programs are what makes the city uh, attractive for people to come to, for people to be here. And, uh, and people spend money when they come to uh, different theaters or festivals, whatever it may be. So I'm a great supporter of it. And I recognize also it just gives the city a, a greater edge in competition in so many different ways. Well, well you know what? Uh, we're into the second year with the film festival. And as you know, with each year, it gets bigger and bigger. And this year is bigger than last year. So what this will do, you know, within five years, ten years, this will be a major, major attraction for the Tri-Cities area and this is going to be a lot of money here for the economy and on top of that people will get a good taste of you know what it's like to be on the red carpet what they do at the Cannes and the Munich Festival and Toronto International Film Festival so you know they don't have to fly over the world to get a taste of that they can get it right here in Cambridge. Now John's MC tonight here uh, I mean you're looking around you're seeing some faces have you seen any stars tonight? Uh, I did see a dude from uh, Cambridge City Council my god I looked at him and I thought it's Seth Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> I think Ben Tucci will uh, will uh, be happy to have that one. <laughs> ben, there's uh, we're at the, the the brand new city hall uh, right in downtown Galt, and and I mean there's definitely some some economic impact that we're going to feel from a film fest like this uh, in the in the region in general. What do you see long term as the economic impact of something like the Grand River Film Fest? Well, I can't put a dollar figure on it. All I can say is it's going to be a huge return for the municipality. And not only Cambridge, but region, uh, North Dumfries, all the municipalities, because as this film festival grows, like Trebinka did in New York and other film festivals, the Toronto Film Festival, it has to branch out, it has to go outside the boundaries, and uh, so it's going to be a huge win for the Waterloo region. Now, Frank, you're here doing a lot of photos, taking a lot of shots of some, some really great people looking really good tonight. The Grand River Film Fest is bringing some... Are you exciting... saying I'm not looking good tonight? Of course you're looking good. You're always okay. looking good, Frank. Thanks. <laughs> the Grand River Film Fest is bringing some, uh, some great dynamic uh, to downtown Cambridge uh, as well to the region. What do you see it uh, long term? What do you see the impact of having the Film Fest here in the Waterloo region? Is? Oh, I think the uh, Film Fest is a great thing. Being from uh, Toronto... Uh, what the Film Fest has done out there has just been unbelievable and it's grown every every year. Uh, out here in Cambridge it's just it's already looks twice as big as it was last year and it's way more organized and it's a, I think it's an incredible thing for the community.
mountain climbing, one of the highest peaks on Earth. Imagine climbing it. Blind. The fear of climbing blind comes when I'm reaching out to the darkness, when I don't know what I'm going to find. In Tibet, blindness is a big, big problem. A lot of people think that blind people are possessed by demons. These kids are complete outcasts. Maybe the kids could do their own expedition. If these kids can climb their own Everest, God, what a statement that'll make throughout the world. We are going to a place that is a little bit dangerous. I'd use the word potentially dangerous. It's a long, hard journey. Very difficult. It's very difficult. This is the difference, I think, between Westerners and Easterners. We don't want to stand on top. It's just ingrained in our makeup. The top is not important. It's important that we are all together and having fun. The worst outcome is that we all die in an avalanche. It is life and death. I see in my mind how she is stumbling over his own feet. Then it's over. We're not going to let anything happen to any of these kids. All right, let's go, you guys. Is it really the right thing, this goal to get every child to the summit? Kira, what's my name? When you suffer together, that's when you make the closest connections with the people around you. I had the feeling that you were telling we are a little bit overprotective. No, we are not. If we can get one person to the summit, everyone succeeds. Blindside. Here at the rap party, getting some thoughts and opinions on the movie. What did you think of Blindside? I thought it was an excellent movie, uh, extremely well done. Um, we were just discussing the power of people that actually go out and work with children like that and to make such an incredible impact on people's lives. And I found it extremely emotional, and, uh, but very, very well done. I thought it was very inspirational just watching all of the children and their struggles and even just watching the teacher and having to accept that the kids were going through all of that and she wasn't really able to do anything for them. Well, I thought the movie was quite compelling in, in its thoughts on how to get over a hurdle and how that makes our own small everyday hurdles seems so insignificant compared to everything else around us, you know? I could see this movie really appealing to uh, people that are trying to promote inclusion and particularly in the schools where we do have a lot of kids with uh, diversity and particular challenges. This would be fabulous to show uh, the students that don't really have uh, a physical challenge, mental challenge, or what we call the invisible challenges, which would be like the learning disabilities, but to show together what you can do. Absolutely. Teamwork and, and the metaphorical mountain that you need to climb. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that, that whole thing, it had it all.